hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this microsoft logo animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin and if you want to learn about more logo animation from scratch and logic about it then don't forget to check out my udemy course logo animation masterclass link is available in the description so you can do check it out now and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started so here we are in adobe after effects let's create a new composition we will call it as main animation as always width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 20 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection now over here i am in photoshop i have this go uh, not google but microsoft logo animation and i mean microsoft logo i got this logo from google you can easily get this from there and over here what i did is that i have separated each and every alphabet and each and every element on separated layer you guys know how to do that so i'll simply save this file okay then i'll go to the after effects and i'll press ctrl i on my keyboard to import my logo file i'll select this logo footage instead of footage i'm going to choose composition retain layers and sizes and i'm going to simply hit import and i'll hit ok after that i'll simply double click to open this and i'll select all the elements by hitting ctrl a i'll hit ctrl c i'll go to main animation and i'll hit ctrl v and i'll simply bring this over here then right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size like this and adjust this uh, object properly at the center like this and let's delete this null object we don't want that now we will create first this animation so let's select all of them and by hitting ctrl a and press p for position select all of them uh, position right click and choose separate dimensions select this position right click choose separate dimensions and uh, we will follow this procedure for all of them because we want separate dimensions to create their individual animations okay so we have successfully did that now hit ctrl a to select all of them create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y zoom in a little bit go to around one second again create x and y keyframe then go to around 20 frames create one keyframe on y then uh, we will go in middle of that and we will bring this over here and at this point uh, we will again bring this upward like this okay so if you see we will get something like this now uh, i think the last uh, things is uh, quite uh, long from each other so let's select this and move this over here let's select this much and let's move this over here now let's go to the start and uh, make sure to select all of that go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this and you will get this kind of animation <coughs> now after that I want to animate only Y position so select all of them and in search option I'll type Y only so it will show me only Y position select all the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here go to the start select this and let's move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here go to this select this move this handle over here and move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here and adjust it like this <coughs> so if you see this now you will get this kind of animation now go to the start and press s create one keyframe go to somewhere around one second create another keyframe and go to the start and let's make this zero like this 
select all of those keyframes and hit F9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift I'll move this handle over here so I'll get something like this uh, and if you want then you can move this last keyframe over here also so oh, you will get something like this or uh, let's move this over here only now go to the start press R for rotation create one keyframe go to around one second and I'm going to make this one complete rotation so I'll get this kind of rotation also okay so I think our main animation is done now all we need to do is to adjust it one by one so uh, I want this animation should start from this T so what I'm going to do I'll go to the start I'll hit page down button two times and I'll move this over here then adjust this uh, text uh, one by one hit page down button two times and with the help of open bracket you can move this from here to here like this so as you guys can see our alphabets are adjusted now after that i want this to start animate so it page down button i'll select this one and move this over here and we will follow the same procedure to do that so if i see this animation from the start i'll get something like this and select all of them and enable the motion blur like this okay so our main animation is done so select all of them press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and i'll call it as logo animation and hit ok like this okay and after that select this hit ctrl d press s unning this and let's make this minus 100 press p for position and let's bring this downwards like this okay then select your rectangle tool and we will create one mask on it go to the mask and increase the mask feathers uh, like two five zeros and press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 40 like this and let's move this over here a little bit so if you see along with this animation you will get a little bit of uh, reflection also so uh, the both of them are logo animation and let's hide them uh, now I'm going to select my ellipse and I'll create one ellipse over here with this much size uh, Let's select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and Let's move this ellipse over here like this select this press p for position create one keyframe Then go to around 1.20 create another keyframe like this now go to the start and let's bring this out of this composition like this so you will get this animation like this then uh, go few frame forward or i think at this point we need to move this over here let's say and go for a few frame forward create one keyframe then go to somewhere around over here and let's move this over here and in middle of that over here i'll move this over here now select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see this animation now i'll get this and then this then go to the graph editor i'll select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so if you see we will get this and then after that i'll select this handle for make shift move this over here and move this over here this should be over here select this and this should be over here so we will get this kind of animation so if i see this thing from this end i'll get something like this okay select this press ctrl shift c and we will call it as circle and hit ok so uh, first this and then we will get this now select this and let's move this over here press y to select pen behind tool and i'm going to move this handle at the center like this then move this over here at this point now select this press r hit ctrl d press r and let's make this 90 select this hit ctrl d press r and let's make this 180 hit ctrl d press r and let's make this 270 okay so if you see this thing now i'll get each and every individual animation from this end okay then uh, this is going to be for let's enable our logo animation there 
now we will apply colors to it so i'll select this circle or let's select all of them and go to the effect and presets panel and search fill effect and simply double click to apply select this circle and we will create this color select this with the help of picker i'll select this color select this with the help of this picker i'll select this color select this and with the help of this picker i'm going to select this color okay and now let's hide this for now now select this circle over here or let's say this circle which is our main one i'll hit ctrl d i'll press s for scaling option and i'm going to increase the size of it somewhere around let's say 200 maybe or let's say 180 okay like this but over here what i want is that this go let's bring this at the top and let's just change the color of this one to yellow and we will hide this for now now these are going to for alphabets and in microsoft logo there are nine alphabets so uh, what we are going to do uh, we will divide 360 into nine so let's go calculator if you divide 360 by nine you will get 40 reading so we uh, want uh, each and every ellipse for each and every alphabet so what we are going to do i'll press r for rotation i'll, I'll click on the stopwatch i'll uh, type open close bracket inside that i'm going to type rotation again open and close bracket inside that type zero after that hit plus 40 star and index like this okay so now it will uh, rotate each uh, it will create duplicate on 40 degree each and every one for example if i select this and i'll hit ctrl d as you guys can see the rotation value of this one is 40 i mean 80 and if i hit r over here it's 40 so basically this expression is increase the rotation value with the help of 40 index so select this hit ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d we are going to do that until it's going to cover the entire portion or you will find proper 360 degree reading over here as you guys can see now we are getting 360 degree uh, rotation over here so our ellipse are properly arranged now let's enable all of our ellipse now we know that in this animation our circles are animating first so our animation should start from here okay so what we are going to do over here uh, let's go to the start uh, hit page down button two times and select this move this over here and we will do that procedure for all of them just like we did for our alphabets then this circles okay and now if i see this animation now i'll get this and then this okay and there is one thing that we need to do over here go inside this and if you see over here uh, it's still uh, there we don't want that so from let's say at this point let's say i'm going to select this i'll press s i'll create one keyframe and go to the last keyframe and let's make this 10 and select this press ctrl shift d to split it out so i'll get something like this or you can move this over here also okay if you see you will get something like this and after that if you want you can create some uh, bubble over here also so let's increase this duration i'll select this and i'll press ctrl shift t to duplicate it i mean to split it out hit u and we are going to delete all of these keyframes we don't want that and over here i'm going to add stroke so let's delete this fill and we will add stroke and choose uh, this color and at this point let's make this zero create one keyframe and go few frame forward up to here and let's increase the size of it like this go to the start select this and add stroke create one keyframe hit you go over here and let's make this zero go to the start and let's make this 20 so you will get this kind of pop-up now select those keyframes and hit F9, go to the graph editor, zoom in, select this graph by holding shift, move this handle over here, select this and move this handle over here, like this, so we will get this kind of pop up. Now this is quite uh, very slow, so let's select those keyframes and let's try to move this over here, like this, so, and if you see this stuff over here, you will get this for each and every one, okay and i think this is too much uh, a stroke size so let's make this let's say five 
because we don't want much more time and if you want then you can move this a little bit over here also because i want that animations to be happen uh, you know a little bit faster yep okay and after that i'm going to select all of these circles over here i'll press ctrl shift c and i'm going to name it as alpha bits select those and press ctrl shift c and i'm going to call it as icons now select this alphabets i'm going to apply this fill effect let's enable this logo animation comp and with the help of this fill i'm going to pick up this color okay and now i want this thing should start to animate from this points so i'll select those logo animations i'll enable them and i'll move them over here because they are going to start from this point <coughs> okay so if you see this animation over here i'll get this then this and let's go inside this thing so let's select this uh, and let's do one thing uh, go to the start and let's move all of them over here press s for scaling option and initially let's make the scale uh, not completely 10 but let's say somewhere around 2 maybe looks good so it will look like that they are coming from this end and then we will adjust the position so we will get a little bit of feel that actually they are coming from a center rather than just they are going to create from the air like this okay and if you want then you can follow this thing for this one also press s and let's make this scale initially 4 select this press s let's make initial scale 4 4 okay so if you see this animation from this and now i'll get something like this but in uh, over here what we are going to do i'll select this icon i'll press r let's enable this and this icon create one keyframe over here go somewhere around over here and let's make this rotation 90 so what will happen along with this animation you will get a little bit of rotation over here also or let's make this 180 and go over here press r create one keyframe go over here and let's make this rotation minus 180 so if you see you will get uh, rotation animations also then press ctrl y to create solid background and let's bring this backward so yep this is how you can create microsoft logo animation inside of adobe after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned